Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from upgrade to life.com and welcome to this quote of the week video. And without any delay, let us just jump straight into this week's quote. So this is what Neville Goddard said. If tonight you want something, know it is contained within you and you have the power to animate it and make it alive. Then have faith, have confidence that in its own good time, what you have imagined will come to pass. You need not to tell anyone or devise the means of its fulfillment, right? So if you carry a desire with you, if you carry a goal with you, right, then it is basically like self torture It's basically sinning in a sense. If you don't fulfill that goal because you have it and as long as you remain in hoping for it, desiring about it, wishing about it, um, it doesn't feel really good within you. So you, of course, want to manifest that desire, right? That is your birthright. And again, I said this many, many times. Neville said this many, many times. But your desire is a gift. I made a video on this. You can check this out to understand more uh, what it means when you have a desire. Because desiring is nothing like you hear in other, you know, parts of the spiritual and, and manifesting community. It's not something bad. Right? Desire is good. It's a pointer. It shows you something that is already available for you. But it will be seen as something negative when you don't know how to fulfill that desire, when you don't know how to experience the wish fulfilled of that desire and therefore see the manifestation of that desire. Okay, so let's say you want something tonight, right? If you want something tonight, which is, you know, just saying that you want to experience new circumstances, manifest something new, which means you desire a new state, a new identity, a new self-concept, right? Because that state then if you shift into a new state, if you if you start to identify with new things, assume new things, that opens up a new portion of creation. You will see new things reflected back to you, your desired things being reflected back to you when you align with already having that, with already being that within yourself. And that applies for all life areas. And what you have to now know is that this is contained within you, right? The desired state is not, it's not really separate from you, but you will feel like it is separate from you when you keep desiring when you keep wishing hoping waiting to occupy it right then it will feel like it is away from you it is not there yet it is yeah but you won't feel satisfied because you will always push the desire in front of you but you're not in it you have not occupied it you're not living in the wish fulfilled but what you need to understand is that this desired state that you wish to encounter that you wish to make alive that you wish to shift into and then manifest right the state of the wish fulfilled going to the end having what you want to have being who you want to be that is contained within you. That is not outside, excluded from you, right? It's not that some things are available to you and some things not. Everything is available to you because everything is within your awareness, within your imagination. You can imagine everything. It's all there as a potential, right? So it is within you. And it's not only within you and available right now, right here, it's not that you have to wait for anything, but also have do you have the power to animate it, to make it life, to shift into it, right? And again, would we not have awareness, which is the essence is, is, is our true nature is the essence of our being right it's the it's the it's the it's the only fundament right it's the only thing that is essential to us everything else is just added to pure consciousness thoughts identifications emotions that's just the rising coming and going but what in essence is always there is pure beingness pure awareness if that is too deep for you right now just stay with me that doesn't matter you will get this later okay but again the good thing is that because we can shift, because we can go beyond our senses, because we can imagine something else and what is currently present in our life, because we can identify with something else, we can go out of our current experience and start to identify with something new and therefore generate new circumstances. Therefore, our life is not stagnant and we are not stuck in this current state, in these current circumstances. We can leave them by placing our awareness on an already existing state, making that alive, and that, therefore seeing the contents of that new state that we shifted into. The state, again, where we have what we want to have and where we are who we want to be. That is available. Otherwise, you could not even desire that. Right? So it does exist. You have to make it live. And again, not only does it exist within you right now, right here, but also, again, can you make it live and assume it and shift into it because you are the open power. No one else. Nothing else. Nothing. No one else can do it for you. Right? You have to swallow the pill that you are, that you are responsible for where you dwell within. What you make alive, what you accept and assume to be true. And you can identify with and shift into and occupy new states. States that are in alignment with what you want to experience. Okay? And when you do that, right, then 
faith, right? Faith is not something that you can, in a sense, force, in my opinion. You can't just say, okay, now I have faith, right? Faith is a, a result, a byproduct, a the effect of having experienced the wish fulfilled and having experienced the wish fulfilled again and again and again. And at some point, it's like, yeah, of course, it's who I am. Right? And then you don't want to imagine any longer. It's like if you imagine right now what your name is. If I imagine right now, oh, my name is Nicholas, my name is Nicholas. After the first attempt, this is super boring because that is so natural to me, so so certain to me. I live in this knowing so much. I have faith so much in that, even though it's un- it's also unseen in a sense, right? Where else, where do you see your name? Maybe on your ID card, okay? But it's also an unseen fact in a sense, but you still know it to be true. And you can also make any other thing that is currently unseen for your eyes, unseen for your senses that's currently not manifested and tangible but that that does exist as a potential you can make that also natural by occupying it again and again and again until it starts to feel natural until you start to have faith about it and then you walk by faith and not by sight and then you have confidence right that in its own time right in its own you know appropriate hour in a sense it will manifest but that's not that's not your job to nitpick that the perfect timing right? What you've imagined will come to pass. And again, what you imagined actually already did come to pass, by the way, right? Because when you imagine it, like Neville said, that's like a creative act in a sense, not even creative. That's like just you experiencing something that already does exist. You don't create something new since creation is finished. And I explain more on these fundamental principles in my manifestation guide 2022. So you can also check this one out. That's a more longer video explaining all of that step by step. But when you imagine something, it's like you shine your light of awareness, you shine your attention on something that does exist, you start to identify with it, it starts to be internally, like feel like that this is who you are, the more you shift into it, and then you have it already achieved within, and then in its own time, the manifestation can happen externally too. So, And here's also the thing, right, you need not to tell anyone, it's not that you have to tell people, ask someone for help, you don't need gurus, you don't need someone to tell you, you will get rich by doing this job and doing this business and this, this and that. You don't need that. You are your own power. You are your own guru, right? The only thing that you need to do is go to the end. And everything that will happen in between will happen. But you don't need to ask someone, how can I achieve exactly the way that you followed? Everyone has their own unique bridge of events. You don't need to copy someone else. But you need to go to your end internally, make that natural, go into the wish fulfilled, and then that can manifest for you, right? In its own way. And you don't have to devise the means Again, how great is that? I said it so many times, I said it so many times that you don't have to sit there and work out a business plan. I don't need to work out a business plan to start manifesting a successful business. If a business plan is required, if investors are required, that will all happen on its own automatically without me having to force that. But if I right now want my goal, if I right now want my desire, if I right now feel the desire about it, then what do I do? I occupy the end. I go straight to the end state. I go straight to, I have it right now. I am it right now. I see the world from this state. I let the world see me from having achieved it. So I close my eyes, let people see me in this state, give hear con- confirmations, congratulations that I'm in this state via congratulations, overhearing two people speak about my success, having conversations with other people that where we talk about my success that I've achieved it, experiencing scenes that imply that I've achieved it, right? via these imaginal acts that imply that I've achieved it. This will generate this feeling of naturalness and what is your inner nature, who you are, that is what you get back from life, right? So if you want something, it is within you, and you have the power to make it natural to shift into the state of the wish fulfilled. If you want to learn more about the entire framework, as you know by now, then you can check out two links in the video description. First is my free masterclass. Second is a link to apply for a free 45-minute consultation call with me, with Upgrade Your Life, where we can simply find out if we are a good fit to you know, potentially work together in my program to establish all of these shifts in your life for your desires, all right, so that you can consciously master your fate. So that's it for this video. That's it for this quote of the week video. And I look forward to speak to you soon. Bye, guys.